Okay, guys, this is, uh, again, week four. This is video two of week four. We're looking at the assignment. It's a doozy. So go watch the other video that I have on blood. I know I did one on there, and that'll have a lot of this information in there. And you're going to have to go through detail by detail because I'm going to uh, try and get you um, better set up for this thing. Where are we at? There am I. I'm going to move myself around here so I can see everything. So it's got 24 pages. This is massive. But I'm only going to do it in a five minutes, okay? So um, things to know, erythrocytes means red blood cells. Leukocytes means white, okay? And then there's different kinds of white blood cells. There's the neutrophils, the basophils, and the um, um, uh, basophils and the monocytes and those guys. So best thing to do, here's what to do. Here's how to really do good on this one. Draw yourself a chart. Write neutrophils, basophils, monocytes, leukocytes, etc. Write those all down and write their attributes. Right? Has granulations, has no granulations, has uh, works against this, works for that. Now, for the blood type thing, you can look those up pretty easy. That's right in the book. There's a little chart in there that goes A, O, B, and A, B, and stuff. Remember, O is the universal receiver, right? So, and donor, I'm sorry, universal donor. You can donate to anybody because it has nothing, has no bad things on it that can cause your body to flip out. Your body will see something. So if you're an A someone and you give your blood to a B someone, that B and A don't mix, right? And you'll have a, a problem and your blood will clot when you when they introduce it. That's not good. So we have to have the universal uh, donor, which is O, right? So an A, a person with A type, can receive O, no problem. They can receive, um, A person can receive from A, no problem. Um, sometimes there's a problem with A and B, but an AB person can also receive from O. They can receive from A and they can receive from B. They're a universal receiver. Okay, so that's how that kind of works out. So AB, remember, is a very, very small uh, fraction of the of the population. It's like 0.3% or something like that, 0.03%. It's very, very small. A lot of uh, people who are uh, native to the, the Northern America and stuff have that type of blood. And also you see some of them in Siberia. So we know that's how one of the reasons we know they kind of came over the same kind of blood types. Um, o is again, the most common donor. Yeah. Donor. And let's see, go down through here, multiple choices. Ooh, so many, which of the following is most likely cause jaundice. Jaundice is a yellowing of the skin. If you look up at the top here, you can see my the bar that goes across the, strap, the top. It's that yellow color. That's what we're talking about. Actually, we should probably move that up a little bit. No? Okay. Well, you can see all the crap that I do. There's my stuff. Um, let's see. Other ones on here. Geez, that's only page five. There's a lot. They'll talk about proteins, about globulins, and how they work together. Read through that. It's a lot of information, but just take the time. It shouldn't be that hard. I will post again the um, the, uh, the correct answers on your thing once I grade it. If there's a bunch wrong, um, that way you can go through them yourself and look for those because that's the idea of this kind of learning. Systolic and diastolic. Systolic, remember, is the pushing of the the heart. The heart pushes. That's systolic. And then diastolic is when it kind of like, think of it, it doesn't die, but it rests. It, it rests, and then that back pressure is what gives you that. Other ones on here is pulse pressure. Pulse pressure, right? And heart arterial blood pressure. Ooh, that's a harder one to get. Um, reflex tachycardia. Tachy means fast, right? Uh, tach tachypnea is fast breathing. Tachycardia is fast heartbeat. Um Brachial artery, brachial artery in here, carotid artery, jugular vein, carotid artery, jugular vein goes back to the heart. Brachial artery is in through here, right? Femorals down on the thigh. Those are the ones we have access to. Radial and ulnar arteries are the ones we also take there. Uh, I'm trying to see because this is really small on my computer for some reason, and I don't like that. Let me see if I can open this up a little high. And it even doesn't want to open up really big for me. It's really kind of a pain. I can do zoomies, I guess. There we go. Maybe zoom a little bit. Jeez, it's terrible. I still can't see. T cells, uh, the, the um, T cells are ones that uh, uh, mature in the, in the thymus. And B cells mature in the bone marrow. That's why B and T, right? Uh, this goes through antigens and, and 
Phagocytation. So phagocytize means to eat, right? Completion. Oh, there we go. So that's all 24 pages. 24, 23. Let me see if it's really interesting you can get through. Spend your time to do this one. There's a couple answers we just gave you. Uh, HK, natural H, natural killer cells. Those are good to have. Those kill other things. So when this is right-sided heart failure and left-sided heart failure. Right-sided heart failure will generally cause what's called congestive heart failure, CHF. That'll go into the lungs and they'll, you can hear ronchi and rails in their breathing if it's too much, right? And then you also have swelling, pitting edema of the, the, the shins. So if someone has like, you know, you take their shins like this and you push, right? And then you let go. And if there's a, there's a fingerprint that stays there after you let go, that could be pitting edema. That's a right-sided heart failure problem. Can't happen with the left side, but left side is a little bit different. Left side, remember, is the, the side that pumps to the body, out through the aorta, and right side receives from the lungs. Right, or, or, Sorry, sends to the lungs, and then goes back to the, the left side. Um, beat about, beat about, beat about, beat about. This is actually a really good, it's a good test. I mean, if you get through this, not test, this is a really good assignment. If you get through this assignment, and you're feeling pretty confident about it, you're really going to feel good about the heart because this had this covers like everything about heart and blood it's really really a good one i think um there we got so with on this one here it's chapter or page 12 it shows pictures of the heart you know like you see right over there right the pictures of the heart and it shows how they're contracting remember systolic is pushing and diastolic is letting go blue we're showing deoxygenated blood generally and red we're showing oxygenated blood and remember that arteries always go away from the heart. Even if it's deoxygenated blood, if they're sending deoxygenated blood to the, to the lungs, that's still an artery, that's the pulmonary arteries. And then the pulmonary veins bring it back into the um, left atrium and then into the left ventricle, where it goes out through the aorta and to the body. So away for arteries and in for veins, into the, into the heart for veins. Um, and there, those are those two places where we don't have the blue and red thing kind of correctly uh, it does show a whole thing about like your blood type and things they used to be really worried about that i remember as a kid even um we used to do tests on rabbits so anyway it's like seven and a half minutes i didn't want to spend that much time good luck on this one it's over there good luck on this one you could do it take your time with it don't forget to write that little thing out that's going to help you remember so much more and it should be pretty easy it'd take you about an hour maybe 45 minutes uh, there we go. Good luck, and we'll, we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.